Hello everyone, this is Blunt and Tara, and I am here to do a reading. But I'm gonna pull the sun sign while I'm recording. So keep in mind that the reading it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time is fluid. So this reading can resonate the first half of November. It can resonate later on down the line in time after the first half of November. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closures for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So let's see who we doing. What sign sign? Okay, Virgo. So Virgo. So let me get y'all all proof for Virgo. First half of November for Virgo. What is Virgo's oracle? All right. So beauty and the beast. So Virgo, this could be you. And you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Aries, or a Capricorn. So Virgo, that could be you. And you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Aries, or a Capricorn. That beast right there. Possibly a Aries. And say you need some space in this relationship. Okay, so the number eight could be significant. The month of July. I mean, the month of August could be significant. June, July, and August could be significant. Those three months. The number eight and number six. The month of August. All right. What can Virgo expect in love and romance? First half of November. Calling in your soulmate. So Virgo, be careful what you ask for. Y'all might find out you called them a karmic soulmate or an overbearing soulmate. Or Virgo, you could be trying to get rid of an ex or a karmic lover. So you can call in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Virgo, for some of you guys, I picked up two groups of you guys. I already said it, but I'm saying it again. Virgo, for some of you guys, you're calling in your soulmate. But it's like when this manifests, you might regret it. Or Virgo, you're trying to get rid of a karmic lover so you can actually call in your soulmate. So this is the person that you called in and you might regret it the first half of November. Or you're trying to get rid of this lover right here. So you can actually call in um, a different lover or something like that. Because you need some space in the relationship. Virgo, for some of you guys, you want to cheat or you trying to get rid of like a overbearing lover. Virgo, you either want to cheat or Virgo, you trying to get rid If you're single, you're trying to get rid of this lover so you could go like go out on a date with somebody else or something. <laughs> or something like that. Or Virgo, some of y'all trying to cheat or something. It's like you want somebody away from you or out your energy so you can do what you want to do. <laughs> All right. What's Virgo's lover sitting truth the first half of November? Virgo's lover. Yeah, I regret lying to you. So, Virgo, for some of you guys, you could be turned off from a lover because they lied to you. Or you could be picking up something intuitively. Or you might find out, find something out. <laughs> but this is your lover saying the truth. They regret lying to you. So, y'all love a lie about something. This came out sideways. I'm going to put it back. So, Virgo, for some of you guys... Your lover don't really hide behind material things. Virgo, your lover could have been stalking you. And it's like the first half of November. Your lover might make their stalking obvious. 
or your lover gonna stop stalking you and come closer to you or something. Somebody could be putting y'all in an awkward position. I love you. Yeah. So I don't know if this love is high vibrational or toxic. But that's somebody sitting truth. That's your lover sitting truth. They love you and they regret lying to you. I'm going to put positive changes you guys can expect. What's positive changes Virgos can expect the first half of November? Positive changes Virgos can expect. All right. So we have adult children and healing from the past. So I'm gonna pull a place thing or activity that's good, safe, and wholesome for you the first half of November. And I'm gonna pull a place thing or activity that you guys should be cautious of. What's a place thing or activity that Virgo that's safe, good, and wholesome for Virgo the first half of November? A place thing or activity. A swimming pool. Sunbathing and tanning, pool games and fun pool parties. So this is a place, a thing, or an activity. Something to do with a swimming pool. What's a place, thing, or activity that Virgo should be cautious of? The first half of November. We have a desert. It say arid landscapes, duns, and sands, endless horizons. Virgo, for some of you guys, I heard if you're a man... Be cautious of a feminine, a female with, uh, her vaginal area could be dry. Or Virgo, if your vaginal area is dry, be cautious of that. Some of y'all probably have to go to the doctor or something. Something could be going on. So this could be like the vaginal area. <clears throat> Arid landscapes, duns and sands, endless horizons. But I heard intuitively, I heard bad sex. I heard bad sex. So Virgo, for some of you guys, if you a female, Virgo, if a masculine don't turn you on, that's your intuition or your body trying to tell you something. This man could be a snake. And it's like your body is not responding to this man. So something could be telling you something. It's like your body don't respond to this man. It's like you be dry or something. And that's your body telling you no or something. But nonetheless, that could be literally some sort of desert. But, um... Intuitively, when that card came out, I heard bad sex. All right, so let me pull an issue. So, Virgo, this could be an issue you have with somebody or an issue somebody got with you. Spirit, what's the issue the first half of November for Virgo? We have comfort zone. Together out of comfort. So, that's the issue. Spirit, what's going on with Virgo the first half of November? The higher part. So y'all could be dealing with a tourist or got tourist placements. Somebody could be married. Virgo, this could be you being very high vibrational. This could be you going into prayers, meditations. Y'all could be married as well. What about the higher part? The lovers. So, y'all could be married to y'all twin. Something could be going on with a twin flame connection. 
Virgo, if you're trying to figure out, um, it's a need also for somebody. Virgo, you or somebody else to make a decision. A spirit could be telling me to tell you, if you want to make a wise decision, go into prayers or meditations. Or ask your spouse or something. Somebody got a choice to make. So, Virgo, you got a choice to make about a marriage, about being high vibrational. Um, yeah, something like that. I'm also picking up something is optional or something is required. So, the higher front with the lovers. For some of you guys, something is optional. It's like not a big deal. Or something is like... You have to make a choice. So it could be two groups of you guys. Yeah, something like that. So we got Taurus and Gemini in the So something could also be out of your control. These major arcanas coming out. This could be um, divine timing playing out or something being out of your control. Clarify the high front. Yeah, romantic thoughts. Yeah. Having romantic thoughts about you. So y'all could be dealing with a lover or y'all twin. Y'all could also be married. Or some of y'all might get married or something. So maybe it's a Taurus having romantic thoughts about you or is your spouse having romantic thoughts about you? Clear by the lovers. Therapist, yeah. Someone needs to visit a therapist. Virgo, somebody could be stalking you or something, or your lover could be obsessed with you, or your lover could have a sex addiction or something like that, or your lover keeping secrets, or somebody got an uncontrollable fetish, or y'all could be going through a, um, something could be going on in a marriage or something. It's like, Virgo, you don't want to have sex with your spouse and you don't know why. Or you picking up something intuitively. Or you don't want to have sex with your spouse or something. Or, Virgo, your spouse need therapy. And you could be turned off from your spouse because of their issues or something. Or somebody need marriage counseling. Or somebody need to go to the doctor about their vaginal area. Or <clears throat> it's like, Virgo, maybe your spouse cheat on you. And you don't want to have sex with your spouse because you worried about an STD or something. Or somebody could be married and they cheating. It's like somebody having romantic thoughts about you, but they need counseling or they need a therapy, a therapist or something. Virgo, for some of you guys, you could have married somebody else because your twin got issues. So you marry somebody else. Or oh, y'all married y'all twin. Y'all twin got issues. <laughs> yeah, something. Or oh, somebody be wanting to have a sex a lot. Or a lot of sex. Virgo, if you guys are in separation from your spouse or your twin, it's like your twin or your spouse want to reconcile with you and they're going to therapy because they don't know how to reconcile with you or something or they want to reconcile or somebody want to divorce or somebody want to reconcile because somebody's having romantic thoughts about you. Virgo, for some of you guys, you're married. You're very high vibrational. And somebody like you, somebody else other than your spouse. And this person 
It's like they talk about you to your therapist. I mean, to their ther therapist. Virgo, for some of you guys, you could have married somebody else other than your twin. Or this is a Gemini. Or Virgo, you got Gemini placements. Or a Gemini could be obsessed with you or something. So Virgo, maybe you got a choice to make concerning... Um, Somebody having romantic thoughts about you. Virgo, somebody might make it clear that they have a crush on you. They know you married, but they have a crush on you or something. Somebody want to mess around with you or, or something. Or somebody want to marry you. Or Virgo, you don't want to have intercourse until you're married or something. Or something like that going on. Virgo, you could be raising your standards regarding like your love life or who you sleep around with or something. It's like you're in a high vibration. So you could be practicing abstinence as well. And it's like, why you in this higher font energy? Somebody's having romantic thoughts about you. Or somebody want to have sex with you bad. Or Virgo, if y'all have an embarrassing moment during intercourse, the first half of November, it's like this person is talking to their therapist about something. Or Virgo, you want to have sex with somebody, but this person don't know if they should have sex with you. Or something. Or somebody could be obsessed with y'all or something. Or somebody concerned that somebody following them, stalking them. Virgo, this could also be you. Somebody could be driving you crazy or making you timid. Or somebody make you feel uncomfortable. Or this could be your boss or, boss or something. That's having romantic thoughts about you. This could be your boss. Somebody could be making y'all uncomfortable too. Or somebody slept around with someone that that they regret. Or Virgo, you could be the third party and this person that's having romantic thoughts about you could be married. So this person right here could be married. And you want this person to leave you alone so you can call in your own soulmate. Or Virgo, you single, your twin could be married to somebody else. But it's like your twin can't stop thinking about you. And they're married. Or Virgo, you can't stop thinking about somebody else, but you're married. So Virgo, you could have married somebody else other than your twin. And it's like, you need therapy or something. Something like that going on. <laughs> but for some of y'all, you, you could be the third party. Or you single. 